Paul Drew spoke with some of the many frustrated drivers on the road today. He's standing by live over the H1 Freeway with more. Paul? Now before we get to that, I want to show you what it looks like from up top above the H1 Freeway out here in Pearl City. I'm going to step out of the shot just so you can see that evening commute. Again, three lanes of traffic, plenty of cars out on the roads, and some using that zipper lane. Now, after this area, the traffic finally gets lighter. Earlier, we did talk with drivers who were caught in this growing traffic jam who voiced their growing frustrations. As the traffic inched along the H1 freeway, drivers caught in this nightmarish commute vented their frustration by letting us know how long they'd been behind the wheel by the time they got to Pearl City. At uh, 2.15, we left Pearl Harbor, and uh, we're here now, so it says, uh, according to the uh, thing, 49 minutes to get to Eva Beach, Eva Beach, yeah. Some knew about the problems with the broken zip mobile, but everywhere they turned, there was more traffic. This is not my normal thing to do, to start downtown and work my way back, and then, but to find out that a zipper lane's closed makes it really frustrating. Some tried to make the best of things, even though they knew it would be a very long drive. My husband called me to warn me. So you knew you were what you were getting into. I kind of did, but I, I have a, you know, a band full of five, you know, of five teenagers, so. So they've been entertaining you, right? Yeah, they've been entertaining you. Yeah. Traffic was not only creeping along the freeway, but all the roads headed westbound as drivers tried different ways to shorten their extremely long commute. The streets were filled with faces of frustration, but some still kept a positive attitude as their journey. Turned into an hours long ordeal. Not only me, it's others still patients. <laughs> now we thought we'd have to go up to drivers to ask them about their commute today, but they were so frustrated they'd actually stop just to let us know what it was like. Some would just drive by and yell how long it had taken them just to get to that point throughout the day. Reporting live from Pearl City, above the H1 freeway, Paul Drews, KITV4 News.